Hi, this is Ken from Homebrew Audio, and today I want to talk about track automation in Reaper. If you want something like volume, for example, to change on a particular track while the song is playing, you can use track automation to do that. So let's say you have a vocal track like we do in this song here in my wife's song called Tomorrow. We have a vocal track here in the middle and we have other instruments on all the other tracks. So let's say that I want to automate volume. So for example, at some points during the song, the voice might be too loud and I want to turn it down, or in other places it might not be loud enough and I want to turn it up. Yes, you can use the effect called compression to do some of this, but if you really want to turn it up a lot or turn it down a lot, or if you want to get very surgical with it, then track automation is a really good way to go. And volume is only one thing that you can automate. You can actually automate a whole bunch of different things. So for example, let's take a look at this vocal track. If I want to do some automation, I'll come over to the track control panel. And right here by this button where it says trim, if I hover over it, it says track envelopes automation. So let's click on that. And you can see all these things that can be automated in this same way. We're just going to do volume today. But the same idea applies to whatever you want to automate. So I put an X in the volume box there. And you'll see that this little swim lane kind of thing appears underneath the vocal track. This just shows you what is happening with the volume on that track. So this green line here, it is set to 0. You can see right there, 0 dB. It's set to zero by default, which means there's no change. So it just means whatever volume you have set on the vocal track, that is what it's going to consider zero. So if you want to turn it up or turn it down, then that number will change, and I'll show you how. So let's take a listen to a little bit of this. Shahrazad did not despair. Oh, my father, do not grieve me. I will step into the snare. There is... So let's say I want a whole section to be a little bit louder. So how about um, into the snare. Um, this into the snare part? So what I would do is highlight that section. And you can see it highlights that down here in the envelope track as well. And I come over here to the control for the envelope track and hold down the left mouse button on this volume knob and drag to the right. You see how it raises this line here, which represents volume, just on that section that you've highlighted. So that will turn that section up very much, probably louder than I'd really want it. But let's take a listen to see what it did. Do not grieve me. I will step into the snare. There is hope you must believe. So you see it automatically raised the volume on that section there. So if you want to do that for large sections or small sections, you just select it. Come over here to the knob, and let's say you want to lower it, you drag it to the left, and the same thing happens. Now, you can also get very surgical with this. You'll see that I did that when I originally mixed this song. Here's an example over here in this passage. And this, it is said the cuckold king, with his heart so black with sadness, judged all womankind his foe. So by putting in these little uh, dots, it puts it in automatically when you select a section like that, and then you come over here and drag, you can see it puts in four dots. But you can actually put those in manually if you want. Hold the Shift button down on your keyboard and uh, left click on the mouse, and that puts a button in there. And uh, if you want to put another one in, you do that, and that will allow you to do all kinds of uh, very precise changes in the automation that you might want to do. You can probably get by with most of what you want to do just by making these selections. Uh, zoom in if you want to select just a small part, say right there, and uh, raise and lower that. That'll probably allow you to do everything you want to do, but you should be aware of these little surgical things that you can do as well. Then when you play it back, of course, it's going to happen automatically. So that's why it's called automation. So hopefully that will help you take further control, very sort of fine and precise control of what's going on with any parameter, whether it's panning or volume, in your tracks in Reaper by using track automation. I use this a lot. It's very helpful when you're recording music. So that's a brief tutorial on track automation in Reaper.